Welcome. Um, it's still a lovely day to talk about factoring or factorizing expressions eh, where we are uh, putting it inside the brackets as opposed to expanding an expression which is taking away uh, those brackets. And so far we have asked ourselves uh, the question, the important question, is there a common factor? Yeah? Because the first question you ask yourself, is there a common factor? Uh, for instance, this one, 3x squared plus 15x. The common factor, the highest common factor is 3x. And now I have factorized, finished. And now we are going to talk about the second question you should, uh, you should be asking yourself, which is, can I factorize it by grouping? And this is a, an example question we are going to solve in a minute together. Now, grouping, uh, for instance, if I have the expression, uh, what shall we do, uh, 6x plus 3 plus uh, 2xy plus y. Now, as you can see, um, it has four terms, yeah? And this example, or this type of factoring is very different from all the other ones, okay? So if you have a little bit more experience, you will very quickly identify the grouping method, yeah? Because it has four terms, okay? And how do you approach it? Well, first of all, you've asked, you ask yourself, is there a common factor, yeah? Because that is always the first question you ask yourself, is there a common factor? Well, do all the four terms have a common factor? No, they're not. So the second question you ask yourself always when factorizing, can I do it by grouping? And by grouping you need four terms, and yes, you can do it by grouping. What do you do? This is group one, and that is group two, okay? And I'm gonna look at group one and asking myself, is there a common factor for group one? 6x plus three. Yes, there is, you tell yourself, the common factor is three, and in those brackets, you're gonna get them 2x plus one. That's for group one. You're gonna ask yourself the same question for group two, yeah? That's why we call it grouping. Is there a common factor for group two? So I look at those two terms, 2xy plus y, and then you tell yourself, yes, the common factor is y, yeah? So a positive y, and I am putting in my brackets then 2x, plus one. Don't forget that positive sign here, yeah? Because you're taking out a positive y. And then you notice that what is inside those brackets in both groups is the same, two x plus one. One time I have to multiply it by three, the other time I have to multiply it by y. So my final answer is two x plus one multiplied by three plus y. Finished. All right. As you uh, can remember, perhaps the FOIL method, and uh, when we were expanding expressions, uh, would have to be applied here when you expand it again. Yeah? So you can check that. 2x times 3, 6x. 2x times y, 2xy. 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times y is y. So fantastic. My, if I expand my answer, I get my original question again. So grouping. Uh, you look, you get four terms, you look at the first two, get rid of the highest common factor, you look at the second two, get rid of the highest common factor, and then you are squeezing your fingers and you're hoping it should be the same now what is inside my bracket, and it always is. Grouping, fantastic. So 2x plus 1 times 3 plus y. Yeah, 3, that's a positive 3 plus y. Good. So now we are going to solve this particular question, then we're going to have a look at some more example questions in the next video. Don't worry, it's not going to take ages. This one, let me just uh, copy it. AX plus BX plus AY plus BY. Okay, the question is factorize it completely. Yeah? Factorize the following expression completely. First of all, you ask yourself always the question, is there a common factor? Is there a common factor for all four terms? No, there's not. The second question you always ask yourself, is it grouping? These questions we will deal with in future videos, by the way, yeah? Is it grouping? Yes, it is, because I have four terms, fantastic. I'm gonna look at the first two terms. What is the highest common factor? It is x in my brackets, if I take out x, a plus b. I look at the second two terms, yeah, my second group. What is the highest common factor? A positive y. And I'm hoping even inside my brackets and now should get this one. If I take out y, I have a plus b left and it is the same. Fantastic, because it always is. So my final answer is a plus b times x 
plus y, okay, quickly check that, ax, yeah, if I would expand it, ay, bx, and by, fantastic, good. So I'm going to write that answer here for future reference that if I would um, factorize it by grouping, I would get for this question, a plus b, I'm just peeking now, and x plus y. Can we read that? Well, we don't have to because we understand. Fantastic. Next video, uh, a few example questions uh, about grouping. You can check my site explainingmaths.com or on, uh, find me on Facebook for more resources and an opportunity to ask me your questions. See you later.